Botswana is a sub-Saharan African country the size of Texas. It has a population of two million people. In 2000, it had one out of four of its citizens infected with HIV. With a small population and a willing government, Botswana has become the test case to see if HIV can be tamed in Africa. The Botswana UPenn Partnership is a program in Botswana which helps to provide HIV care and education, as well as tuberculosis care for HIV-infected patients, cervical cancer screening, and now telemedicine and health informatics training. Our program has a multi-pronged uh, interdisciplinary approach to capacity building. We touch the whole spectrum of healthcare uh, and IT uh, stakeholders. We work and advise and facilitate different research projects related to telemedicine and mHealth with, with students around the country. And we introduce uh, new innovations such as mHealth and projects with our local partners and advise them and work with them on how to scale them responsibly. A key part of our program is that we have really strong and meaningful relationships with two key partners, the Ministry of Health and the leadership at the University of Botswana. This has allowed us to develop very strong programs that affect public health and medical education. The major programs that have been developed in Botswana include mobile telemedicine, or HANA Follow, it's known, with the Ministry of Health, as well as mobile learning with the University of Botswana. These are cornerstone projects that began in 2010 and have really expanded since then. What we are likely to see with the coming in of telemedicine programs is that uh, patient referrals will now cost less in terms of traveling time by the patients, in terms of care outside one's community, and also in terms of costs that are related to referral of patients. We as a ministry are very excited in that. It has actually improved our coverage to the rural communities in, in terms of specialist care. Mobile telemedicine allows patients to receive health care at a distance without traveling to the capital city where many of the specialists are. Providers in the rural areas use a cellular phone to access an application and then they take clinical history and photos and send these to the experts in the capital city. The Oral Medicine Project is one of four mobile telemedicine projects that we're working on with the Ministry of Health. Uh, the Oral Medicine Project in particular has been the most successful because the local team we've been working with really took ownership of the project uh, and took it upon themselves to scale it up. The maxillofacial surgeon we work with, Dr. Putejo, has seen over 152 cases using the system. If the patient is referred, if there's no transport, they might take a week or two before coming, which means then the diagnosis is delayed. And with the late, delayed diagnosis, difficult treatment. But if you use telemedicine and you are able to communicate with the referring clinician the, the earliest possible, you are able to make an earlier diagnosis, earlier management, and better outcomes for the patient. Mobile learning allows students and doctors at the University of Botswana to access medical information as well as virtual mentorship using 7-inch tablets that have been distributed to these students and doctors. The whole aim of the projects really is to try and give them a good experience, a good learning environment in the rural areas and so they can ex have access to information and they don't feel also cut off from the, the, the centre. And So the, the tablet project with a collaboration with Orange, they'll be able to call so that they never really feel out. They can still be a part of the bigger community of learning even though they may be in Maum or Mahalape or Mudepolole or even in Lubatsa for that matter. Well, M-Health by its nature is uh, interdisciplinary and, and crosses both the public and private sector. So public-private partnerships are absolutely essential to uh, sustainably scaling them uh, and making sure they have the biggest impact in the country that they can have. It's been essential to have Orange as a telecom partner throughout all of our programs. Orange allows us to have data connectivity and cell service for all of our M-Health programs as well as for the mobile learning program with the University of Botswana. We've been developing product and services mainly to improve the flow of information within the health ecosystem. We believe we can really make a difference in, in Africa uh, where our product and services can improve access to health. We can help population at 
a better information and we can help that information flow more easily and more fluidly in the health ecosystem in Africa. The penetration rate of, of mobile uh, telephony is increasing significantly. So it gives uh, a way for people through a mobile health to, to have a better access to, to health, better access to specialists, and uh, overall this will help to improve the, the health system in the, the various countries. We really are just scraping the surface on the impact of mHealth in Botswana. We've started with telemedicine as well as mobile learning, but given the infrastructure of the cellular connectivity, this really can expand to include the whole country and include other aspects of mHealth such as data collection, electronic medical records, and integrating technology into the healthcare system.